Action. Y'all, I have time blindness. You know, I have ADHD and time blindness is actually a thing. And literally at 1040, I looked at my clock. Finally, I had been channeling and doing a bunch of work this morning. And suddenly I was like, oh my God, I have five minutes before I can come on. And I didn't have any makeup on. So thank you for your patience. If you are with me live today, say hello in the comments. If you're watching the recording, say hi so I can come back in and say hi back to you. And um, today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Whether you're with a partner or you're on your own this, this holiday, I always used to struggle with Valentine's Day, especially when I was single. There was so much social pressure. I wanted to get, remember in high school, maybe this was just my high school, but we would have, um, they'd sell carnations, carnations for Valentine's Day. And I always wanted to get a carnation. And I was always super nervous about getting a carnation because uh, I had social anxiety too. So it was a, it was a um, push pull with the, with the celebration of Valentine's Day. My mother was always so sweet and she always got me and my sister's Valentine's gifts so that we never felt alone, even if we didn't have somebody special to celebrate that with. So what I will say today, as we are headed into the middle of Feb, can you believe it, is that a couple of things. One, you know, this is our energy report for the week. I focus a little bit on Valentine's Day, kind of just for fun to do, because I know that we have, sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a hard thing to go through and I've certainly had both in my life. I remember before I met my husband, I was actually still living in Kansas at the time. I had broken up with a man who I'd been with when I was in grad school. And I just remember feeling so alone one Valentine's Day. And I had gone out to Barb's house. Barb was my academic mentor. She and I wrote the book Smart Girls together. And had gone out to her farm. It snowed that night. We had dinner. She was single too. And she looked at me, I don't know, it was probably 10 o'clock at night. She said, you know what it's time for? And I thought for sure she was going to say, it's time to go break up the ice for the horses because it's cold out or it's time to go feed the horses or something like that. She said, no, it's time to go out and make a giant heart in the snow in front of the house. And so that's what we did to celebrate Valentine's Day. It was super special. And I'll always remember that day. I just think that is something that the message for me back then was that you can be totally okay, happy, satisfied, fulfilled without having a partner. And that's actually the best frequency to be in if you're wanting to bring in your divine life partner. And so many of you are. So this is a message around encouragement for you to fall in love with an idea, to, to put yourself first, to fulfill yourself, heal yourself so that when your divine life partner drops in, as mine did eight years ago, um, you'll be ready. You won't be perfect. I certainly wasn't perfect and neither was Michael when we met. He sat down next to me at the counter at my favorite restaurant and asked for the baseball game. And I knew that night I was gonna marry him, but our lives weren't perfect, but they were good enough at the time that we could navigate the challenges that we faced together for each other. And I know for sure that had I met him earlier in our lives, we would have probably been the end of each other. It would have been like War of the Roses. So it is not, our, our marriage is not War of the Roses. It is a satisfying and beautiful experience every day with somebody who I care very much about and who is my divine life partner. So just a note of hope. For, for those of you who are looking for your divine life partner, stop looking, stop seeking, go inside, get yourself healed enough so that when you meet that person, that person will be healed enough also that you can link arms and carry your way through the world together. Make sense? So with that, the guides had a couple of messages come through for us today and to focus on this week. One is that you are the channel for all you desire. You are the channel for all you desire. It's not something that you have to go seek outside of yourself, but as, as you become even an even more clear channel for the frequencies that you desire of divine love, of truth, of abundance, the things that are vibrationally in alignment 
with that frequency are going to be very obvious and evident in your lived experience. So you are the channel for all you desire. There are new codes that I want to share with you today, just briefly. And by the way, two things. I'm over on Instagram and I'm going to be late for that too. Let's be honest. I'm over on Instagram in a few minutes to have a conversation more about wealth consciousness. So if you're not following me on Instagram, do that. You can do that at drdr.robinmckay. Find me over there and say hi so I can follow you back. And um, I'm going to be talking more about wealth consciousness over there. And the second announcement that I have before we go into these new codes is that I am teaching level one of the Akashic Records Soul Journeys Method the beginning of March, March 4th and 5th. This is for people who are really seeking out their purpose, wanting to have an even greater relationship with wealth consciousness, wanting to find the answers inside of themselves to the questions that they have about their lives, figure out their purpose, figure out their mission, accelerate their wealth, make their businesses better, more aligned, more influential, all of the things. The Akashic Records have been my go-to resource in the last, especially six years, as I started working in them in this particular methodology that have brought in, oh my gosh, so many amazing clients and opportunities. My business has been thriving since, since I started really working in the records intentionally and consciously and working with somebody my business coach is the leader of the Akashic Records system. So there's all of these nuances to working in the records, but it all starts with the level one certification where I teach you how to open, access, open, tran and translate your own Akashic Records. And it is powerful and it will change your life. So if that's something that is interesting to you. If that's something that you're feeling called to, the Akashic Records always find you when you're ready. So if you're listening and your ears are perking up, chances are quite good that you're meant to be in that level one training. It's a two-day training. If for some reason you can't attend it live or you can only attend part of it, that's just fine. It turns out the frequencies that are transmitted across the course of the training are just as potent and powerful if you listen to the re recording as if you are there in person or virtually in this case, because we're doing it on Zoom. So um, yeah, get yourself into that program. Get yourself enrolled. There's an early bird special going on through the 22nd of this month. And um, the pricing is in the, um, the enrollment form. It's very reasonable, especially for what you receive as a result of that training and how you'll change is priceless. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there and to having you be a part of that community that is so powerful. Um, so Akashic Records level one, get yourself enrolled. All right, here are the two frequencies that the guides wanted me to send over to you today um, to support you during this week. One is the frequency of divine love, which of course it's Valentine's Day. So why wouldn't they want me to send over divine love to you? But this is the crystal amethyst. I'm sorry, this is the pink amethyst. It is a crystal. And the, the pink amethyst is associated with divine love. It's also associated with your soul star chakra. So this is one of the connections to all that is. And if you can just imagine, let's just do this really briefly here. Go ahead and breathe in love and grace and just imagine a beautiful pink crystalline ribbon of light being transmitted down from the heart of God and channeling back through the base of your skull. So there's a little, it's called the occiput. So just imagine it channeling back through the base of your skull and just washing your whole system, washing your nervous system, washing every cell of your body with this beautiful frequency, pink amethyst, divine love. So breathe in and breathe out and allow that frequency of divine love to just be transmitted through all of your, your cells, through your whole system, effective immediately in the most easy, joyful, miraculous way with results that are even greater than you could have hoped for or imagined. So divine love is the canvas on which you get to 
experience and paint your life. Divine love is the is yours by divine right. It's not human love. Divine love is perfect love. So that's the transmission for today that becomes a canvas for what comes next. And what comes next is this beautiful smoky Amazonite crystal. By the way, these are these are um, frequencies that the Lemurian High Council that I work with channel through me and with me. Um, so these are the ones that they're wanting to bring forward today. So smoky Amazonite is um, associated with the frequency of abundance. When I talk about my new private program called Becoming the Channel, one of the things that I say about it is that you're learning how to channel wealth consciousness. And wealth consciousness is your capacity to attract, receive, and hold financial abundance. So this frequency of smoky Amazonite, again, is associated with the frequency or the, the experience of abundance. So again, that is being just as a beautiful cord of smoky Amazonite light. So there's some dark spots to it. There's some white to it. There's some turquoise or green to it. That's all coming in through the base of your skull if you choose to receive it. And again, washing and infusing through your whole system, effective immediately in the most easy, joyful, miraculous way with results that are even greater than you could have hoped for or imagined. So these are the frequencies, divine love and abundance on which you can ride this week. You can shift your perspective into divine love and abundance. Shifting your perspective is a beautiful way of calibrating to wealth consciousness, of calling in those beautiful soul aligned clients or opportunities, or even a divine life partner. What a great frequency to call in your divine life partner on the frequency of divine love, right? That's where you wanna be. Okay, so last thing, if you don't think that the Akashic records are quite right for you yet, but you're still feeling called to work with me to, to be in my inner space, I want you to book a call with me. You can do that by going to drrobinmckay.com forward slash call and you book a private session with me to chat about the best fit for you in working with me throughout this year. I usually work in one year packages, sometimes six months, but mostly one year at this point. So um, if that's something that makes more sense for you than doing the Akashic records or any kind of wealth consciousness stuff, reach out to me there and we'll, we'll have a private conversation about the best fit for you. All right. In the meantime, happy Valentine's day, wishing you divine love and abundance to track with you throughout this week. And it would really be helpful to me if you would leave a comment, let me know what your top takeaway was and um, follow me over on Instagram. I'll be over there in a second. Ciao, ciao.